This is the Oregon Trail. And so is this. And this. And this. But even more than places, the Oregon Trail is the story of people. People like Amelia Stewart Knight. As a younger woman in 1853, with her husband and seven children, she walked from her home in Monroe County, Iowa, 2,000 miles across the continent to a new life in Oregon. It's also the story of people like Alva Unthank, who carved his name at Register Cliff on his way to the gold fields of California. And it's the story of Brigham Young, who found freedom from persecution for his Mormon followers in the isolated sanctuary of Utah. Together with the stories of hundreds of thousands of their fellow emigrants, these journeys over the plains, deserts, and mountains became one of the most powerful and enduring symbols in American history. But just as importantly, the Oregon Trail is the story of the people the emigrants met on the way, the Native American tribes whose homelands lay in the path of the migration. In this century, a pervasive myth has grown and overshadowed the truth of the Oregon Trail experience. Through the popular media, the complexity of that experience has been reduced to one-dimensional heroes and villains. In reality, there was adventure and danger, but the challenge for us today is to see beyond Hollywood's fictions. Another myth is that this is a story that came to a conclusion over a century ago. In truth, there is no end in sight. Many of the issues that shaped the past and the forces that motivated the overland travelers are still with us. Like those who set off before, we head out in search of the Oregon Trail and what it tells us about our country and ourselves.